Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we will check out this amazing AMG GT 63S ePerformance, the performance plug-in hybrid. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. And don't forget to turn on notification bell so you're notified for all future episodes. Alright guys, so let's check out the exterior first. So here we have this new paint, which is called the Yellowstone Manufacture One Layer Paint. And this is the, from the series of the new paints, which are available for the GT4 door. And here is the price and spec sheet of this particular vehicle. Today we are at MG Bratislava Performance Center in Bratislava, Lama, Slovakia. Thanks for having us here today. So definitely let me know how do you like this new paint. We have also sun yellow, non-metallic solid paint. This is also solid paint, which is available on the A-Class CLA and also the new SL. But here we have different color, which is called Yellowstone Manufacture. To me, this one looks a little bit different than the sunny yellow. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So here we can see the lights, which are the multi-beam LED lights. Check out these gorgeous carbon surrounds. And we have also multi-beam LED on the inside. And these are actually the predecessor of the digital light, which is now the best light technology, which is offered for the Mercedes AMG. Also, this particular car has the Night Package 1, Night Package 2 and also the Aero Package. So you can see these flicks on the sides in gloss black and also you can see the splitter underneath the front bumper, which goes around and ends actually here at the side and goes a little bit towards the top. This is also presented with the C-Class AMG and also new A-Class and CLA. So this is a new feature for the Aero Package. And also, as you can see, the car has very like a shark front design. Here is also the flick with the close-up and uh, with the aero package. And the whole front of the car has a uh, forward like motion. So the top of the bumper, the top of the grill is more forward than lower part. So it has this like a shark design. I think this looks very sporty and really, really performance oriented design. Also, we have two power domes on the front hood. And actually, when we check the grille, this is dark chrome. So it's not black, it's dark chrome. And this is thanks to the Night Package 2, actually. So you can darken the front grille with the Night Package 2. The AMG logo is still in the chrome, as you can see here. That can be blackout. I've seen this only with the G-Class, the AMG logo in black. And here we have it in chrome. So as you can see, these openings at the front, they look really sporty with the new facelift, much sharper than previously. I think this looks much better personally. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And here, here are the two power domes. So now we can check out the wheels. These are the well-known AMG forged wheels in matte black with the silver outer rim. As you can see here, also we have ceramic brakes here and the style, which is like a center cap. Here is the Michelin. Pilot Sport Forest Tire, 275, 35, 21 inch at the front, and here is comparison with my palm. That's really huge, this wheel. V8 by Turbo E Performance uh, on the front fender, the badge, and the rears are 315, 30, 21 inch. And the rear, we have wider tires for the better traction. So personally, I still really think that these wheels, they really look amazing still to this date. And also here we have the AMG strap, on the side of the car, let me know how to like this. And here is a rear view of the GT4 door with the aero package. You have this fixed wing at the back, otherwise you can get the adjustable wing. So you can choose between these two wings. Personally, I like this one more, but the adjustable has an advantage that you can deploy it or retract depending how you want to have the design at the moment. And this one is fixed all the time. So here is the AMG logo. This one is in dark chrome, as well as the Mercedes logo in the middle. And the GT63S with the red surround. That's only for the e-performance, the red surrounding color of the badge. So let me know how do you like the look with the arrow wing. I think it looks very sporty and I would choose this over the adjustable wing. So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. You can also get these flicks and the rear bumper. These are part of the arrow package, as well as the 
a splitter which is underneath the diffuser the rear splitter the in gloss black as well the part of the aero package you can also adjust the angle of attack of the rear wing manually so you can see it here and I think this is a good to uh, adjust however I don't think many people will adjust it more often but you can uh, do that as well and try different setups so here is actually port where you can charge the plug-in hybrid system however I think this recharges very fast thanks to the P3 hybrid system and also the reason it works uh, I should be able to drive the e-performance GT so stay tuned for that I'm really curious how fast it will recharge this uh, unit of batteries which are small unit batteries and that's very unique that you can charge it up very quickly also we have here the AMG engraved in the exhaust tips we have four squared exhaust tips this is uh, for the V8 models for the 63S and also here for the E performance so let me know what you think about the design the six cylinder versions have rounded exhaust pipes and also here you can see the blade underneath the diffuser so you can see the openings there it is functional and here we can see the fuel cap underneath you can find the hybrid and also that you should use 98 or more octane and also we have here the tire pressures and top speed 316 kilometers per hour or 196 miles per hour all right and here we can see the two section panoramic sunroof i will show you this from the inside from the top it is gloss black design let me know how to like this as well now we can check out what's underneath the front hood so let's open it and here we have the v8 by turbo engine and this one is handcrafted in the Falterbach home of AMG also this one with the hybrid setup develops 843 horsepower really really quite a lot of horsepower here you can see the person which handcrafted this particular engine so we have 639 horsepower from the v8 and 204 horsepower from the hybrid electric unit and this is mated to amg speed shift mct 9g so nine gears and the acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour happens in 2.9 seconds so this car is really really fast the top speed as we said 316 kilometers per hour or 196 miles per hour and the torque for this car is 1400 newton meters and that's 1032 pound feet of torque so really great numbers for the torque and the top speed is also electronically limited all right so now we can close the hood we can now check out the luggage capacity for the e-performance version which in this case is 335 liters that's 12 cubic feet you can see the bump in the boot that's because of the hybrid setup the non-hybrid version has 456 liters or 16 cubic feet so underneath the boot floor let's check it out you can find some accessories here so for example the perfume diffuser so here in this case we have the diffuser which has a name 63-63 interior perfume also here we have the microfiber cloth included and also the mg private lounge envelope and also the tire kit is there on the right side we can find the 12 volt socket and on the left side we can find the burmester speaker subwoofer and also you have a shelf where you can store some soft things such as a jacket for example so now you can close the boot with the button all right so now it's time to check out the interior which has some changes with the facelift and check out this beautiful two-tone interior with a Falterbach crest logo on the headrest and together with this yellow seat belt it looks absolutely gorgeous and super nice matching with the exterior color also AMG at the door seals illuminated and also we have beautiful yellow stitching matching the exterior paint as well as the belts so it looks absolutely gorgeous soft clothes for the doors and here is how the front looks from the back so let me know what you think in the comment section down below all right guys so here we are in the interior of the gt4 door 63s e performance and you can see this beautiful spec of this gt4 door 
and it's more or less this sort of classic spec but it's not fully like standard for sure so check out here the seat belts in yellow how beautiful they are and also the seats two-tone gray and black and also the top stitching here is in yellow and also in detail we have here the Affolterbach crest and the headrest and MG logo underneath also check out close-up of the stitching and the leather, Nappa leather this one is also ventilated as well as heated so the seats offer great sportive support and also the comfort and here check out the interior trim which is carbon fiber here really stunning so here we have the Burmester surround sound system 3D heated seats ventilated and you can operate the passenger seat as well if you press this button and we have ambient lighting and these beautiful pedal shifters up and down the new MG performance steering wheel with flat bottom and MG logo and these two screens so with this one you change the driving mode so right now we are in the race mode and you can change it up to sport plus or you can go to the sport comfort or electric but it's not available right now and then you can go to individual and also slippery mode and here are settings for the distronic automatic cruise control and here for the cameras for example you press on the display and then it's changing what you can change here with then with the black button on the side so for example the suspension you can have in sport sport plus comfort sound you can also change this cameras if i press now you can see the cameras will pop and we can see here the front sides also the front wide angle and on the left side you can see 360 view uh, this one is wide angle and this one is uh, a rear angle so you can control this with this touchpad so you can control this display here with the touchpad in the middle or on the steering wheel you can also control so you can see when I swipe then you can control as well and so here we have menus like phone navigation radio media comfort track pace performance apps store and settings so for example here we can check out the comfort and ambient lighting so you can change colors you have uh, multi colors here and also single colors these are the single ones so like this one in blue you can see wherever it shines also here in the middle tunnel also on the left side here and if you go and select multicolor you can change for example have here pink blue these sort of colors also like purple sky this one is more in the purple and blue together then a very nice one is jungle green which combines these uh, green colors also another one is glacier blue which combines these like turquoise and blue i really like this one then we have track pace to see stats uh, while driving about the AMG then we have performance so here we have AMG menu the energy flow and also uh, because this is a plug-in hybrid you can see also electric delivery and also the combustion engine delivery power then we have drive so you can see how uh, in-depth it is this. also vehicle so this is really great so I'm really uh, curious to drive this, how it feels uh, on the road. Also here you can see uh, temperatures of the battery and all kinds of stuff. So really useful and uh, in-depth look at the, all aspects of this hybrid setup. And uh, in the back there are the plug-in hybrid batteries. So here the menu you can change to different uh, styles you have also assistance telephone navigation performance trip radio media and style display you can have this in sport so now we will have 
two dials you can see on the dash so really cool as well and we have also consumption here for the liters so for the petrol and also for the kilowatts so for the hybrid system so this is new only for the hybrid and also consumption uh, total hybrid and for the combustion engine so here for the GT four door we have this beautiful middle panel I really like this one reminds me GT two door and we have uh, four on each side for this place so this basically like uh, make a significance because they imitate like a V8 setup of the engine here you rest your palm and operate the truck pad and here you have this uh, displays where you can change the driving modes or you can change the mode for the transmission the suspension traction control and here we have for example the volume mg dynamics sound so you can change this as well sound can be powerful or balanced and here we have some quick shortcuts for the cameras telephone navigation radio car settings and check out this beautiful trim which is a part of this package so here underneath we have two cup holders usb-c ports 12 volt socket and cup holders are adjustable so you can see you can adjust them so in terms of the middle storage space and also this serves as an armrest you can see that we have the wireless charging for your phone and USB-C port so here on the top we can see two section panoramic sunroof I find this one really nice so you can see how much brighter is the interior right now with the roof the, the light comes to the car much better with the panoramic sunroof so here with this one I can close and open the sunroof as well but the battery now charges so that's why it is not possible and really nice these controls I really like this display so I can change the driving mode and also this so you have a, a quick access to the things which you use the most So I set the seat as I would sit in the car so that's about how much room do I have I think it's quite fine with this car definitely the sitting position is really maybe even the most sporty which I saw in uh, any car these are almost like a bucket seats but uh, yeah very like a performance focused for sure and here in the middle you don't have any seat so this is only four seater in this configuration but you can also get the five seater if you want and here are the adjustable cup holders and here like a storage space and we have also two USB-A ports uh, but we don't have the armrest here for this particular uh, setup so just to keep in mind this and yeah overall it's really stunning also here you have some storage space and heated seats in the back ambient lighting here is some light and hook here and here you can see you can close the sunroof here to section one all right guys and looking at the space above my head so the headroom is quite nice i would say about nice uh, five six centimeters about two or three inches maximum I would say for my height and I'm 186 centimeters six feet and one inch all right guys so that's it for this video let me know how do you like the new AMG GT 63s e-performance in the comment section down below don't forget to subscribe and turn on bell so you're notified for all new videos and I will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day